besties. Sorry, I was eating something. <laughs> Guys, I have today's question. And the question is, if Instacart hit you up to become a shopper only, in-store shopper, would you take them up on the offer? It is a straight pay rate of a certain amount and you have to at least work 15 hours a week. Max hours is 30. What do you think? All right, guys, let's get into this vlog. Really, really tired. 
So it's going to be a, a vacation from my side hustle. Not my full hustle, but my side hustle. <laughs> so guys, I'm on the way to this interview. And um, it's going to take me a little while to get there. Remember how I told you guys I like to shop in the suburbs? That's where I'll be. And so if I end up taking it, um, some of the Instacart shoppers that are out here in Connecticut that go to this store, to this store, um, they'll be able to see me. Maybe I can take a picture with them really quick and then post you on my YouTube channel. <laughs> That'll be kind of hot. But anyway, um, so I'm on my way. I'm going to get the information and I'm going to bring it back to you guys and um, you let me know what your opinion is down in the comments. So, yeah, so I got my little bun going on up here and I have my um, burgundy sweater on and some black pants and some short little black shoe boots. So that's what I'm working with. Something kind of casual. And they want me to be there 10 minutes before 10. And um, right now it is 8.30 and I'm on my way because it's first thing in the morning. And when I get closer down, it a lot of traffic happens. So I want I prefer to be there early versus later. Also, when y'all caught me snacking in the beginning, I was killing these. These are, I can't buy these anymore because these, I love these things. I can bust packs of these down. The intimate um, little bites, <laughs> the little muffins. I love the blueberry. I had the um, banana muffin ones before. I also had the crumb cakes. They're all good, but these are my favorite. Oh my God, all I needed was a glass of milk. I don't have time to stop for breakfast, so I had two packs of those. I don't know what diet that this is. The Intimates diet, I guess. But I'm going to definitely get on my journey pretty soon. And that's another thing. I've been doing a lot. Paint, getting my house painted. I'm looking to buy a front door. All these different things. And working so I can pay the people I need to pay. And everything. So um, I'm just going to take a step back. And um, relax and then save up some money and then go at it again so anyway guys i'm going to come back in and let you know um what it is they say and once i do that um, i'll probably close out this vlog and then um, i'm probably going to make another vlog and it'll be with the same clothes on it's going to be a vlogging vlog <laughs> and not a uh, instacart vlog so Anyway, guys, I will see you guys shortly. All right. Hey, besties. Let me check my hair, my little messy bun. It looks okay. So I'm about to go into the interview. I just made it here. The traffic was mm, so-so. It usually takes 40 minutes to get here. 35 to 40 minutes to get here. Um, on the clear, when it's, the highways are clear. But I know it's um, rush hour traffic. So it took me, I left my house at like 8.10, and now it's 9. When I got here, it was like 9.29. That's what the GPS said. So, yeah, it took me a little while to get here, but I made it. So I'm going to go in and um, see what they're talking about. So, uh, and the thing that sucks is I have a headache, but I'll smile my way through because I already took a, um, a ibuprofen, so. Yeah, talk to you guys soon. What up, my besties? I am back. Okay, it is now 12 11. My interview was for 10 o'clock, so it was three of us in the interview. It was a group interview. And it was at my favorite store, Stu Leonard's. Um, so let me just give you the rundown on, I'm conflicted on what I want to do. So when I was there, I um, we had to read questions and we had to answer them. And once we did that, then they interviewed us. They talked, we discussed the answers to our questions. 
and um, which I aced. I had one wrong, which wasn't bad. It was one wrong. It was really minute. I wasn't wrong, but I looked at it in a different light. So, and I explained how I was looking at it. And he was like, yeah, you're right. But it's, anyway, long story. But anyway, so I went, I, I aced the interview as I do, because that is me, just butter. So, um, what was I going to say? So now the thing is, I would not be a contract. Um, a contracted or how you say how what are we oh my god these people are painting the house that's what they're gonna be doing in my house so let me get back on hand I'm sorry guys got sidetracked so for the job I would not be a subcontractor anymore I would definitely be on their payroll and yes taxes will be taken out it's an hourly pay if it's slow and we're not getting any orders I, I am just there but I'm still getting paid um, that's some of the good things about it um, and you just shop in the store so what I would be doing is I would basically shop for the, the items I would cash out the items myself and then I will bag the items and um, then after you bag the items, then you put the labels on them and put it in the refrigerator or on the shelf or in the freezer or in the hot oven, the oven, the warmer, I guess you would say. And yeah, so, and the pay is not that bad at all, actually. And I would miss my tips, but on the flip side of it, I would not be really riding around and delivering and lugging stuff up and down the stairs or whatever I'll just go into work and just do that and um, they're looking for somebody that's basically flexible you can still pick and choose your hours but you do have to work at least two Saturdays a month I mean Sundays a month at least because Sundays and Mondays are their most busy time just like the double fire days so yeah I am really really interested and intrigued by it the best thing about it is that they do take your taxes out. If I don't like being an in-house uh, in house or in-store shopper, I can always go back to a regular sub subcontractor, however you say it. I can go back to that. And um, there are definitely where you can grow in a company if you really want to grow into the company. So, I mean, there's a lot of good things that they told me us about Instacart and which was like really really interesting and I forgot to ask them why did they how did they choose me out of the bunch of people they could have chose so it was supposed to be five people that came and only three showed up they're looking for uh, many more if anybody is in the um, Connecticut um, zone that wants to uh, is interested you know contact me you know, I never put out there that uh, I am, um, that I have what my social medias are, like my Facebook or my um, Instagram or my Snapchat. I'm not going to start putting that out there because I really don't put it out there. But anyway, getting back to the job at hand, um, I'm intrigued by it. I'm definitely, I was definitely conflicted because I really like having my freedom. And driving around and working whenever I want to work and cancel my hours whenever I want to cancel my hours or you know what I mean um, you're still working on your own but it's just a couple of other in-store shoppers with you so yeah I mean there's a couple of rules that are inside the store which is fine um, you get if you work over four hours you get like if you work five hours you get a half an hour lunch you get your 10 minute breaks you mean like a regular job so yeah so I mean one good thing about that too is you don't have to worry about taxes and, and stuff like that so I don't know I'm really really thinking about it um I'm thinking as of right now I might do it oh and I can still uh, put out my referral <laughs> my referral code I'm really thinking about doing it just to try it because if I don't like it I can always go back to regular driving and shopping I feel like if I become an in-house shop, an in-store shopper, that I feel like I'm cheating on my my Instacart, uh, my other 
Instacart self. I don't know. Uh, decisions. Decisions. Oh my God. I don't know. I, I like I like kind of being free though. what you guys would do. I know I asked you in the beginning, but now that you know all the information that I have and I've given you, um, I kind of feel that I know what everybody's going to kind of say. But I just want to ask you guys, just throw it out there. So again, you can still um, give out your referral code for referrals. Um, the taxes will be taken out. Um, you still have flexibility. You don't have to drive anywhere. You're an in-house shopper. And I don't keep saying in-house, in-store shopper. And you do your hours and leave. And you don't waste that much. You don't waste gas like that anymore. And you don't have to lug stuff up and down the stairs. I would be missing out on tips. Um, like the other day, I had $37 and I got no tips. No tips. So, I mean, it's, it's like... You have this world that is really good and you have this world that is really good. Do I want to combine the two? I don't know. But you can't do both. I was really hoping that I can do both, but you can't. And that is what bothers me. Hey, there's always shit. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is my vlog for today. Help a sister out with us. What you think butter should do? Um, yeah. Wow. Wow. So anyway, with all that being said, y'all already know butter's code is, referral code is in the description box. Leave comments for me. And um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And again, y'all already know that butter is out. TTY and I gotta make a decision by later today with the L's. <laughs> Alright guys, have a great day.